Hey, Lady C here, and I am going to be talking about creating a temporary email address because I know if you're like everyone else out here, you're probably tired of getting spam and junk mail. Now, the way this works is if you have a free version, you can create three temporary email addresses. And if you have a paid account, which is Yahoo Mail Plus, you can create 500 temporary email addresses. So what I'm going to do is get started right now. And I am in my inbox. I'm actually using my free account, but the instructions are exactly the same with the paid account. After you log into your account, click on the settings icon and choose more settings. Navigate to the left side of the screen and choose mailboxes. Click on add located under temporary email addresses. And now you're going to enter an available nickname in the nickname field under create a permanent nickname. I'm going to choose Savvy Tech 13 for my nickname. And once I choose next, I'm going to get a confirmation screen letting me know that all of my emails will start with this name. All you have to do is choose confirm to continue. Once you choose a name for this temporary email address, you will not be able to change it. So make sure that when you choose your nickname, that's what you want to use. And when you start to put the information in the system, the computer will tell you whether or not that name has already been used or not. So you may have to go at this a couple of tries before you can actually get to the name that you want to use. Next, we're going to add a keyword to this name to make it complete. And I'm going to choose real estate. So Savvy Tech 13 is the nickname followed by a dash. And followed by the dash is the keyword real estate. Those two phrases concatenated together along with at yahoo.com makes up your temporary email. Savvy Tech 13 dash real estate at yahoo.com. Next, I can choose a display name and I'm going to make that real estate. And then finally, I'm going to choose a description. And I'm going to just put what my description is. And in this case, I'm going to choose property management. And once I'm done, choose save. And then you can also create a custom filter. And be sure to click on the link above to check out my video on how to filter temporary email. And now you're going to notice at the top of the screen, Savvy Tech 13 dash real estate at yahoo.com. And so that is your new temporary email address. So are you still with me? Now what we need to do is we need to test this new temporary email account and I'm going to send an email to this temporary email account and we're going to see just what happens in this scenario. So once you you know, go to your other email account, send the email with that new name. Now you got to remember that if you're sending an email from an account that your email doesn't normally get messages from, it might be in the spam. So always check your spam folder to make sure that that email is not in the spam folder. And as you can see in this illustration, it is in spam. And I'm going to go ahead and restore it to the inbox. And you're going to notice that it is actually going to the Savvy Tech 13 real estate at yahoo.com account. And so now you can see that the email does work. Let me just make this last point. If you begin to get a whole lot of emails using this newly created temporary email, you can actually blow that account away. Just delete the account, get rid of it. And the next time someone tries to send an email to that email address, it will not get delivered because it's going to be blown away. And that is what I like when I'm working with the temporary email account. 
Now, the only issue that you're going to face is that for those people that you really need to be in contact with, don't give them your temporary email. Only give this account to people that you really don't care if you ever hear from them again. Or let's say you're doing a survey. And now in order to take the survey, they want you to, you know, give them an email. And so what you got to do is give them that temporary email. At that point, when you're done taking the survey, if they try to sell your information to a third party, you can just zap that email out of existence. All right. I hope you enjoyed these tips. This has been Lady C and I'll be doing more videos on this topic. But until later on, make sure you click that like button if you enjoy these tips and I'll see you on the next episode. Oh,